Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to take a second and just thank you for being here. I'm so happy that you're here. If you happen to be new today, hi, my name is Joanna Thornton and I do all kinds of cleaning and organizing motivation here on this channel. We also have a family blogging channel. But here, mostly, you will see just me cleaning up my mess of a house. It's pretty messy 24-7 because I do have four young children, and my husband and I both work from home, so I just try to show you our real life as much as I can and give you a realistic cleaning motivation along the way. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Back now, that you feel better. I download simple lies, but I didn't cut you down. What do you regret now? Thinking you were clever. Turn those little lies. La la, baby, won't you la la? Get enough of this. My life don't come for free. So, this past week has been a pretty big week of adjustment for our whole family really as our kids went back to in-person school which has been wonderful and they have been so happy the school has been incredible they have been following every kind of safety precaution that they can but also being realistic because it's young children and I am just so happy that we have finally gotten back to a tiny bit of normal over here but at the same time, the transition into going back to school has been so weird for me, I guess. It's been hard for me to find my groove this week and I have found myself struggling to get motivated and honestly really do anything during the day. So I kind of shared that over a little bit on Instagram too. So if you're struggling with motivation or if you're feeling weird in all of this transition time, I totally understand and I am with you. I will say once I finally just said, I'm gonna start cleaning today, I'm going to get it done, I'm not gonna make any excuses, and I started working, I felt so much better. And once you start seeing areas of your home clean again, it is a relief. So if you're in that boat too, just start working and you never know what you can get done. not yet put these grates for the stove in the dishwasher but so many of y'all suggested that I should do that to get them really clean I feel like my dishwasher is always either full of clean or dirty dishes so I do try to scrub these down at least once a week other than that I try to wipe down the stove top but it's just not realistic for me to scrub these every single day because it takes a little bit of time but it is so wonderful to get the stove fully clean to each other I know we feel the same about the situation I did spray the Dawn power wash spray on my stovetop and I just let it sit for a little while while I was cleaning the grates and then I just added some water actually because I find that it helps scrub in the soap so much more and help get everything so clean. This has become my favorite way to clean my stovetop. I feel like it gets it so shiny and beautiful. It's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid We'll be okay And I know it's the right thing to do Let's break away All colors will fade Let's go our own way Now's the time to decide what to do And I'll stand by you
always mixed emotions the first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway but that's just the place to start the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah now it's time for something better and time for us to follow our dreams no we can't stay no more as I was cleaning the kitchen, Mark is always either right there helping me clean behind the scenes, occasionally on camera, or he's back in the room or doing something. He's always helping if he's not working. And we were both talking about how crazy it is that we work so hard to get the kitchen clean. And then a day or not even a day later, it's always a mess. And we were kind of like almost making a pact to each other. Like, let's just do whatever it takes to keep the kitchen clean because when the kitchen is clean, somehow the whole house just feels so peaceful and so we are trying to stay on top of things i wish that i could say i'm one of those people that can't go to bed unless my kitchen's clean but that's just not the case sometimes i'm so exhausted that i cannot clean anymore but i want to be like that so badly are you somebody who has to have the kitchen and living room clean before you go to bed or can you shut your mind off with having it a mess Come run away So if you guys have watched my last few videos, y'all know that we did school at home for a little while and we moved both of the desks upstairs so the pew is back in place now, which is nice. I have pulled out all of my fall decor and put most of it out and you'll kind of see it as this video goes along. I do a tiny little bit of fall decor, but then I also just show you what I've done off camera. And I kept this little school cart thing right here next to the island. And it's kind of perfect because it matches perfectly with the island. And my kids do almost all of their arts and crafts at the table or at the island. So they have that there and easily accessible. It might not stay there forever, but it is just perfect for the stage of life my kids are in right now. Over the past few weeks, somehow this blue table has become just a catch-all for everything. And as I was pulling everything off, I realized I don't even know the last time I thoroughly cleaned this table, including underneath it. This is a table that we actually had probably about since we were married. We've had it for a really long time. It used to be that dark brown color and I have painted it several colors, but it has been this blue for a little while now. And I really love it because it kind of matches with all the seasons. But as you can tell, there were like cobwebs all underneath it. It was so nasty. So I'm gonna give it a good thorough cleaning and then do some very simple fall decor on it. Just wanna be, just wanna be myself. So what I wanna hang with my friends. So what I wanna go out again. So what I wanna write you a song. It's not my fault that you can't sing along. Cause it's 
singing. And before I get to the floors, I wanted to kind of clean this area where my kids tend to kick when they're eating and where all the milk splashes up on and applesauce and all of that good stuff. I wipe this down pretty frequently and I think because I wipe it down pretty frequently, for some reason you can just tell that it is painted and that kind of just makes me feel like I am that much closer to wanting to paint it black. If you guys have been following along, I've mentioned it a few times. I've been waiting to see what we're going to do with our floors, what route we're going to take, and I kind of was waiting on that to see when I would paint the island, but I'm just having the itch to switch it up, and I might do it sooner rather than later. commenting back and forth with a few of y'all in my last video who were asking what vacuum cleaner this is and I try to mention it maybe every other video or so just because it is my absolute favorite vacuum cleaner. I love it so much. I've never had a vacuum that works this well. I bought it directly off the Shark website, although I know you can find it online in a few stores. I know Target sells it and I think Walmart too but I just bought it from the Shark site. It's called the Shark Apex Uplight Vacuum Cleaner. It's incredible, especially on carpet and rugs, but it works really well on hardwoods too, so I'll link it in the description box for y'all. I wasn't joking y'all last video or maybe the video before when I said I knew I would change up my mantle decor. It's just who I am. But the way that the mantle and fireplace turned out is probably my most favorite fall decor that I've ever had. I just got some greenery from Hobby Lobby and little containers of those cute little colorful pumpkins and I love the way it turned out. Also, we had just been to a birthday party and my kids got bubbles. I don't know if you could see them in the last clip out the back window, but they were playing with them and there's just something about bubbles that is new to a kid every time and they were having the time of their lives outside. It was really cute. I was watching them while I cleaned the windows. But I also wanted to move up to the boys' room. I have not shown this room in a really long time, and that's probably because not a whole lot has been done in here, but I wanted to make up the beds, and honestly, as I was making up the beds, I kind of realized I have searched and searched for something to go above their beds, and I have not found anything that I loved or that my boys loved, and so I figured I would bring out their superhero canvases, ask them if they wanted them up, and they both did, and so we put them up. What I told you, no one knows about, and you keep it that way. How I know you, I could cry or shout, you will listen either way. And I told you about the full breakdowns that are only my to talk about. I even told you about the sacred grounds where I go when I need to shout. There is more.
Max used to have a superhero room, so that's where all of these canvases came from. Well, originally they came from Hobby Lobby, but we put them in his room, and then when we moved the boys in together, I just couldn't quite figure out what theme we wanted or they wanted, and they never care. If I say anything, they love it. They, they really just have no preference whatsoever. They're, they get excited about everything. I did run into a tiny bit of a problem. Obviously, their ceilings are slanted. They're really hard to work with. Y'all know if you've watched all my videos, I can't tell you how many times I've hit my head on these ceilings, but the slant is not the same on the left side as it is on the right. So hanging up pictures and making them look even is borderline impossible. So I just had to do the best that I could. Obviously I had to put one higher than the other one, but the left side and the right side, the pictures aren't exactly the same, but it was impossible. It ended up being just fine. The boys were so excited. That's all that really matters. And you'll see here in a second too, I did bring the rug that used to be in our living room up here because I thought that I might try it out in this room. And as I rolled it out, I realized A, it was way too big for the space and B, it just kind of clashed with the room. see me crash and burn and fall overboard and you'll be seeing me rise you've given me more than i could ever afford to so you you'll see me rise It was getting pretty late at this point, but Mark had already washed our sheets and our pillowcases and I just wanted to wash the quilt on our bed so we could have some clean bedding to go to sleep in. And then I also just wanted to go through these clothes. So my best friend in the entire world lives across the street from me, which is so wonderful. Also, what's wonderful is that she has a clothing boutique and she has like tons and tons of clothes and she always gets tired of her clothes really quickly and she passes them on to me at least to look through them. We are not the same size, so not a ton of it fits me, but I do keep things from time to time and what I don't use, I pass on to another friend in the neighborhood. So I'm just going through these clothes now so I can go ahead and pass along whatever I don't need. It's hard for you to be true. Y'all, I'm dying laughing watching this footage back. First of all, I clipped out a really long clip of the fact that I was like rolling around the bed in pain. But first of all, I'm super dramatic when it comes to foot pain or like muscle pain. And then at the same time, I just wanted to lay there until I got Mark's attention. He was like brushing his teeth or something. <laughs> but I was trying to dust the bed and my foot slipped in between the bed frame and the nightstand and my toe got stuck and like bent back really hard and it hurt so bad. I had to cut out like five minutes of rolling around the bed in pain. I'm fine now, but I just left that in so y'all could laugh at me.
honestly, my room hasn't been quite right since we did our mudroom transformation because we kind of threw a lot of the stuff that used to be in our mudroom back in the room and I haven't organized it since, which is ridiculous, but it's also just who I am. So I had to go through a lot of our mail and stuff. I had to do it off camera just because there's so many different places that it says our address, but I did go through a lot of that and just got things in order and tidied up and dusted and you could see the floor again, which was wonderful. So bring your a game, cause you know this party won't stop. We can never run out of time, sip a strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you, share it with you, share it with you. Hey baby, if you're looking for some crazy, I tell you everybody's dead. This is just a random side note, but I was thinking about it. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for 80,000 subscribers. I know that sounds like such a random goal to meet, but a few months back I had said I would love to hit 80,000 by my birthday and my birthday's coming up very soon and we already hit it and I'm just so thankful. I don't have a channel that has just taken off and seen all this crazy amount of subscriber growth. It has been slow and steady and I have some of the most faithful and consistent subscribers and I don't think I would want it any other way. I'm just so thankful for you guys. I can't wait to read your comments. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week and I cannot wait to see y'all again here next week. Bye guys.